Hello world, welcome back to Tara Paints. I am going to attempt fire pour uh, this painting here. Though I don't hate it, I don't really like it. So I'm going to paint over it instead of using a new canvas. Because I'm experimenting and trying to learn, so I'm going to take off some of these rings so I don't get them all messed up. Because I probably won't use gloves today. So, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I am actually doing this painting for a particular reason. I need to relax. I need to calm down. And um, painting does that to me. And so I'm going to be therapy painting today. And um, I'm kind of, like, I just checked out a couple of videos and feeling like uh, I just want to experiment. So I've got a few colors here. I've got red orange, white, yellow, and gold. I don't know if that's the, what I should be doing, but here's my orange. Got it in a mustard bottle. It's kind of a custom orange. Primary red. Straight up white. Gold. I used that on the last painting, which by the way came out fabulous. And this is some yellow. Let me show you real quick. This thing is just holy beautiful. I love it so much. And so it's going on the wall today. Or I'm going to actually, I think, since I'm doing a kind of a, a physical and mental relaxation kind of thing, I might just paint all the edges of my paintings so that they're professional and pretty. I just don't really get to that and I really should so anyway what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with black I'm gonna cover the whole thing in black let me get my spatula out got swiping stuff right nearby that's good I think I'm going to move it up a little I might have to adjust the camera yes I will I need some room and I kind of since I only have this bag half open, it's a little wider than I'm used to, so I'm just going to fold it right here for a little bit, just so I can sit down and relax to do this painting. This painting's not going to give me anxiety. <laughs> no, it's not going to do that. So I do want to add silicone to it. So I will be pouring paint into little cups. And if I can find them. I do have the silicone cups, but guys, I just don't see it uh, being as ecologically sensible as I had hoped. So I got some little cups here. Let me go ahead and get the paints into the cups. What do I got there? One, two. silicone in there and rock and roll and here's my I'm still working on that bottle I haven't opened my new bottle and Amazon keeps saying don't you want to read this I haven't used it yet so no <laughs> uh, this is a pretty small I think it's a 10 by 10 I think it could be an 8 by 8 I don't know I, I just order them and then I don't remember anything about what I put in them or what the sizes are. I, I have to actually measure them if I want to. And it's kind of funny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to there with the red. That's about a little under a half. And hope it's enough, because the red should be the predominant color. I'm not gonna put any silicone in the black. And that is a super black, so I'm thinking that might help this painting be even more amazing too. I'm going to do four drops. And let me open the orange. About the same. That's got really good flow consistency. I love that. And it's... Very 
mustardy looking orange. And here's the yellow. So yeah, yesterday I had an interesting experience. Um, and I probably acted like a fool. But, you know, I guess I'm just going to try to avoid beating myself up in this video. But, um, I went to go to work and my vision was impaired. And instead of pulling back in the driveway, I, I fought that urge the whole ride into work. Um, I just assumed it was going to fade. I'm a very proud person and I don't like to call out at all. And... I just, uh, sometimes you need to just not be so proud and just go ahead and do it. However, as a result of that, um, I, I stopped on the way close by to work, said oh, maybe it's a sugar thing because, because my fiance, he's diabetic. So a lot of things have to do with his sugar when he doesn't feel well. So I'm, you know, I just automatically, well, maybe I should eat something. And I picked up a breakfast burrito, a really big one. <laughs> I didn't get to eat it. I had a few bites. I probably had about four bites of it and um, sat in the parking lot at work and I, uh, it, I, it, the vision never came back. So I decided, well, I need to go into work because I'm here. Because I really didn't think it was a bright idea for me to try to drive home at that point. It is a 45-minute trip. And um, I went into work and I said, let me just get the computer going and let me see what my near vision is like. Because before I left, I didn't feel like I had any problems with my vision. And uh, I got the computer set up. I managed to get my passwords punched in. I mean, I could see to a point where I could squint my eyes and get it done but when I looked at the patient roster for the day uh, I, I knew I was gonna make some serious mistakes at work and you when you work in the medical field you can't make mistakes uh, you can't you just you have to be as on top of things as possible and I'm still in the learning stage so I didn't want things to be insane so I didn't even know what I was gonna do at that point I just was looking at the screen like oh my god it was already busy, the, you know, the other two girls were already there, and there was already like 10 people in the waiting room. Oh, boy. And uh, Sam came over to have me sign a birthday card, and she took a look at me. She's like, what is going on with you? And I just burst into tears because I was embarrassed and proud and feeling pretty dumb. And uh, I think... This is, let me turn, let me do it this way. She immediately took action and brought me into clinical and had ultrasound tech take my pulse and my blood pressure. And guys, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. It was terrible. Ugh. Um, I don't remember what the, I could look at the phone, but I'm using it right now. <laughs> But I remember what the heart rate was. <coughs> and it was out of this world. It was out of this world. It wasn't like I had just gone jogging. It was like I had just put through a stress test. So, um, Dr. Wasserman came in and did a quick neurological test on me to see if I had a stroke or what was going on. And, um, Everybody was just hoping it was like a panic attack, and um, I really hope that that's what it ends up being, because we didn't get to the bottom of why my vision was so bad. Ugh, I can't believe I got that open. But, um, I, they called the ambulance on me, and I was whisked away within 10, 15 minutes of being at work to the hospital, and they went through some testing. I did three different EKGs. I had my vitals read constantly and did blood work um, and then a CAT scan with the contrast. And uh, they, they couldn't find out why my eyes were being funny, but they did find some things that really worried them and really worried me. 
and uh, so it was a crazy day. I just cried. I, I was like there for almost seven hours, I think, and I just, eh, I'm kind of a mess about it, so I'm trying to relax, and I don't know if I want to get too much more detail into it with you guys, but I need to relax is what I need to do. And I've got lots of follow-up with lots of different kinds of specialists. And hopefully they'll actually find out why my vision did that. That's not what they discovered at all. I'm hoping that's just I, I need glasses or um, I did have a panic attack or something like that. I've just never had that situation before um, that I knew of. <laughs> Certainly, and nothing they found was anything I was aware of. So it's a little upsetting. So I'm hoping my mom isn't listening to this. Maybe I will not even put the voice on it. I might just drown it out. Take it off and just add music. I don't know. She can't hear very well and I talk pretty low in these videos. So I don't want her to be worried. I did call my daughter and talk to her. And of course my baby he understands what's going on. I need some water. This black needs to be a lot looser. Let's pour some in a cup. Add some water to it. And I got so it has been an interesting day. I was such a mess when my baby picked me up and he was like, what the fuck are you so upset about? And they were so nice, and the woman that sat me down to talk about what she thought was going on, she was upset to tell me, and I was like, what the hell? I, I'm just not ready for um, chronic illness or anything like that, and I am going to win, because that's what I do, but I'm going to have to use my mind a lot to make this... Um, okay, you know? Ugh. Sometimes I'm lucky that I keep things close by. That's very much black. Should have probably just put it in a bottle to loosen it up from there. <laughs> So that's what's up, folks. Um, I don't walk through life with regrets or anything like that. I just, you know, I, I do and did what I did when I did it for whatever reasons I had. And uh, sometimes you just have to remember that some of your impulsive choices, um, it's possible that they will leave permanent results. So. I'm hoping that's not truly the case for me, and maybe I'm just in denial right now, but um, I've got high hopes. I know I'm going to live forever, so I just don't want to live in a nursing home or something like that. So I got work to do on this body. And I've given up pretty much every vice that I've ever had. Um, I, still, I still drink. Um, I still smoke. I don't smoke as much as I used to. I've definitely dramatically decreased that. I don't know how. It just is the way it happened. It, it just happened. Um, but I, I eat whole foods. It's rare that I eat something processed. Um, I don't even use chemicals in my cleaning supplies because I know that if you use household chemicals, it's equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes a day on your lungs and your health and if I already smoke I certainly don't need to double that especially with cleaning chemicals and those I feel right away like at work because they, they insist on using them because of the corona I, I can smell it and it, it gives me a headache all day and it's not fun so you know there's a lot of changes I've made in my life over the years that really 
most people don't even bother making those changes. So my my vices are small compared to what they used to be. And uh, there's always room for improvement. I could get even cleaner. But I do like enjoy my life. I enjoy my life. So I've got to get that figured out for sure. What is it I really need to do? And how am I going to do it? And all that fun stuff. And what's really important is it, you know, that I'm going to live and have a quality of life? I, I don't know. You know, I've got a lot of thinking to do today. I want to paint. I want to be healthy. And I want to love my baby. And um, I want to be free. Okay, so now I have a black background. Now you're going to see this upside down. I'm going to try and paint the fire that goes up. I'm going to use a swiping technique. And uh, I got the black on there. It's thick. And uh, <laughs> I still have some left in the bottle if I need to go around. So what I'm thinking is... I'm thinking I'm going to do a puddle pour. And that's the red. Oh, yeah. It's gonna have a lot of paint. I should put the gold closer. I don't want metallics take over, and I just love using them, so I gotta be careful with them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in here. So this is a dirty puddle pour, is basically what's up. The same ones I used for the big painting I just showed you. Just gonna reuse them. Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> Let me swipe first and then see. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put this white down. That's already freaking beautiful. I usually don't bother wiping in between. I just use many. <laughs> but, but I'm feeling like I need to I'll just use that one and wipe. So, I was planning on going to work today, and um, I got out of the shower and felt horrible, super shaky, and I know I need to calm my mind down so that whatever I'm feeling is real and not just in the brain because I'm upset. 
And so I, I realized that I had to take a day to process and recover from yesterday. And I am paying very close attention to myself. Trust me, I'm not ignoring things. But I need to be sure the difference between mental anxiety because of it and actual symptoms of something that's a problem. And I'm leaving my phone on all day. I'm not going to let anybody not know where I'm at or whatever. Be sure of that. And if I feel something that is not right, even if it is in my head, I will not hesitate to pick up the phone and call a professional. <laughs> like an ambulance, if I have to. But I gotta tell you something. The people I work with are just so beautiful. And uh, I really appreciate everything about them. I really do. I'm definitely blessed and highly favored. See, I don't think uh, any of that white is gonna hack. But I am gonna add more red. I'm gonna. This will be non silicone. I tell you, this right here is so beautiful on the back. It's like, what? Oh, wow. So there's no silicone in the side swipes. Because I don't add it to the bottles because I don't want to use it all the time. It's not always the smartest thing to do. And I've seen so many people produce beautiful cells without any silicone. So maybe that'll be the case here. And there is, I think, apparently, one of my hairs in there. Yep. I think I do need to do some tilting. too much tilting. I don't want to ruin that. Sometimes it's about stop. <laughs> okay, this will have cells in it. Serious. This painting is getting so, so serious. Okay, a new piece.
torch it. I think I will. I do. I think I'll do a Dutch pour fire and see which one I like the best. But that comes out nicest. Uh, they all come out pretty cool. Everybody's different in what they like to see. So I just gotta get the bubbles out. I'm not trying to create a lot of cells with it. I think that is something else right there. Really cool. I really like it. Okay. Use a water bottle that has like a slow spray to um, spray the back of the canvas to tighten the canvas up. So I just sprayed it. Put some tacks in, and then I gotta try to think where I'm gonna put that to dry while I do this. <laughs> I should have probably opened it up. I'm just going to stay with you and then I'm not going to do a whole nother video, I'm just going to stay with you. And thank you for listening to me and watching me learn. I love that. And I hope I inspire you to go out and get some paint and play with it. Whether you use brushes or you use water and make it some liquidy or however you want to paint, just to be able to sit and express yourself, it's very sweet. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Oh, I have a silicone mat I could probably put that onto without making too much of a mess. to work on, then that's a different story, but for floor painting, it's not for me. So here we go. I'm going to attempt to pick this up without tilting it, and it worked. Let's get it over here without dropping out of the hole. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. I sure love that. Here we go again. I hope I have enough black. I think I do at this point. Because now I don't have to try to cover a painting. It's just going on blank canvas. Should be better. It's still thick.
I also saw in a group um, a way to get cheap paints. Let's go to your big shop store, Lowe's, Home Depot, and buy paint samples, and you can have them customed. They're like three seventy-nine to five dollars for that. And uh, if you ask me, that's pretty great. You could have really amazing things. <laughs> Need to spread that again. Move the big one out of the way so I can get to the. This is a Mars black, it's really dark. Make more black. Yeah, I have it too. So this could be pretty simple. this right here. And I, just so you know what I do, it's probably not right, but one part to three parts. And this Mars black is really black. It dries super black. Uh, and I use glue wall because of its affordability. Flow troll, you gotta strain, and I just ugh. the mixing of the paint is my least favorite. For the medium, it's like ah okay. And I'm gonna need to add water because both the flow troll or the glue wall and the paint. And you saw me use a water bottle over there with some dish soap in it. This is going to be plain water. And it's a little more than you see other people use. I'm just like, yeah. Because if I'm going to Dutch pour, I need a lot of flow.
<sighs> I think that'll do it. Let me just wipe off the top so I can open it again when I need it. And I still have white, so I think I'll probably try to use that. I'm not going crazy with the paint this time, not nearly as much as I had on my last one. Boy, that one's coming out really pretty. Now, I'm experimenting with whether I have the heat setting on the painting, the dryer, or not. Do not mix the silicone in, I just put it on top. That's how I roll. And that could change. My technique could change up completely. I could be like, eh, I'm not doing any pouring anymore. I'm gonna do this. Because I can. I brought in a painting to work the other day that I did of a umbrella in a puddle of water with rain. And they were like, what? Because <laughs> they only see this stuff, you know? I'm just moving these bottles out of the way because I'm going to have to dig in there to get to I don't want to knock everything out. dryer actually cooks the paint. I don't want to cook the paint. Now this will definitely, this is because it's freshly mixed that you're seeing it gray, it will be black. I just need to have better coverage on this canvas for the sake of flow. Another thing I like to do is I like to have a little cardboard box because I drink the white claw. <laughs> so, um, to drop everything in so that you don't have to have so much out. Everything that you're going to toss in there. All right.
was going off. Just time to go inside or leave for work. And I can't touch the button because it's underneath the thing that's holding it. Just from the bottle. And we'll see. If, uh, I'm not a big fan of Dutch pours. So let's see if I can make it good enough that I like it. <laughs> hunting for one. Oh, there is one. Okay. I wish I had my hair. <laughs> Exciting. Put the light down.
just be on your knees for this stuff. I'm gonna get organized for tomorrow. I created some pinks because all that white I used. So I see it also in a lot of groups, people are like, oh, you ever been in a bad mood and you don't paint? Or you paint and everything gets ruined? Guys, I really suggest that if you're feeling out of sorts, that painting can be very therapeutic. I, right now, feeling pretty sweet. So don't be afraid. And you don't have to like it and you don't have to keep the painting. It's one of those things you can like repaint over it you can I always suggest you wait at least a week before you do that I would never swipe a wet painting unless I was absolutely sure it was nothing that I wanted <coughs> so just be aware that painting should be good even when you're not good And I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy with this Dutch pour, and I don't really like them. I see people do them, and you know they do them nicely, and it looks good, but it's not my style, um, generally speaking. This I was able to pull off the Dutch pour and have it look like my style, and it's beautiful. I'm hoping I didn't use too much orange. That orange comes out pretty flat.
this week. We're gonna have to vacuum before babies get home. Because he went crazy and cleaned this floor last week and I don't want to ruin it and then do that. He works too much to have any bullshit. And I'm hoping that'll fit. goodbye till later but I'm gonna do something else don't go away <sighs> I really want to do it but I don't know if I should I don't think I have enough paint down I really want to save those skins so I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna put this stuff away. All these little cups. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, I almost spilled that on the floor. That would have been so awesome. <coughs> what I was gonna do was do a kiss painting with a really small um, canvas. Because it's so pretty. I still might just clean up this part. I can't use this sometimes to keep going. Sometimes this wood is so tough, and then sometimes it's like, oh, psh, tack, this goes right in. So I try to find a piece of wood that's not so tough. In the corners. Dirty. Shook him up. Look at that little bugger. Hmm, that looks like fire. Pretty sweet. That's gonna even be better. So I think I did a smart move. I'm gonna torch it. She's done. Oh, maybe she's not done. You see this? All this whiteness over there.
This will also, when you do the kisses, you don't have to, but it will help dry these skins faster because it's more spread out. So I kind of dig that. that that's all for today my friends I might come back later and make some magnets because I have a whole bunch of beautiful skins right here and that's how I storm probably not smart but until I have drying racks in a big room for this stuff and it's gonna be the way it is and it's gonna be okay don't let anything stop you and say so you don't have the space because you can make it. Get a big tupper thingy and just put everything in it and handle it. Alright guys, send prayers. I love you. Bye.